this man chose to give me. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be telling you the story on how, well, one of my neighbors, like, came to hate me, okay? Basically think I'm a bad kid and just hate me. First of all, I want to say, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video, another story time like this. And it'll mean so much to me. And also, my Instagram is Anne underscore Ayedima, O-N-Y-E-D-I-N-M-A. So, let's get on to the story. Okay. I'm sorry, I made my water bottle. Okay, okay. So, it all started from this one girl who used to live in my neighborhood. She was my friend. Okay, so... Okay, basically, I have three, two friends in the neighborhood. This one girl named Bianca, that's not her real name. And then this other girl named Zoda, that's not real, her real name. Okay, so, <clears throat> Bianca, she was with one of her other friends, I think, or just some random cousins of her. And they're wearing bathing suits, and they're ding-dong, ditching, like, basically everyone's doorbell or whatever the door <clears throat> and they even ding dong ditched my house and i was just like what are you doing and then my sister she was just, she just she knew it was them she even went outside and she said whoever's doing that is stupid it, it was kind of funny okay to be honest it was and they were outside when they heard her <laughs> and they're ding dong ditching ding dong ditching my neighbor who lived this this from me like over at my left side over here and they did not just their door bell two so they saw it was her and so they immediately thought that she was a bad kid so they did not like her and that girl like bianca she even tried they had kids and they're like daughters they're like the same age as her but bianca was probably older and Bianca, even when they were playing outside, she went up to them and she asked if she could play with them. Like, a few weeks or a few days after she had ding dong ditched her doorbell. And they said no, that they were busy. I mean, I'm sorry, Bianca, if you watch this video, but I wouldn't like to play with someone who did not ditch my doorbell either. So, I'm so sorry. And so then, she was playing with Zoda. The other girl that I was friends with, and like we were all friends, like we, we were just friends. So she was playing out, she was playing with Zoda, and then they saw that Zoda and Bianca were playing, were playing together. So they thought that Zoda was a bad kid. Let me just tell you, this is a very short story, so it's okay. I guess I think it's a short story, but let's just see. Anyways, so then it came time for me. I was playing with Zoda, we were on our front yard, when all of a sudden my neighbors, they came outside, and they saw me playing with Zoda. And they saw me, they literally looked at me for a few seconds, like a few seconds, I just hit my face, but a few seconds, and it was actually the husband that was looking at me the longest, and then he went in the car, and they went in the direction that they always go to. If you watch this now, I'm going to say this, okay, first... Now they thought that I was a bad kid, and yeah. Now this is where some weird thing starts. Let me just tell you, if you ever watch this video, please just stop staring at me, because I see you. I saw you hiding, please. I'm not dumb. Anyways, <laughs> that's so weird. So now this is where weird things begin to happen. Zo uh, not Zoda. Bianca, she moved out. Because she was, like, beginning to move out the, you know, neighborhood in, like, a few months or so. She moved out. And me and Zoda, we kind of stopped playing with each other. And then there's these incidents where my neighbors, they would literally stare at me. I remember this one time, I randomly went outside because, I don't know, I just, I felt something was wrong. Went outside, their that neighbor's daughters, because they had two daughters, we had these berries on our trees. They were not edible, just saying. They were in our yard picking the berries off of our trees. And I, I don't even think they're berries because they were supposed to turn into leaves. We don't even see them anymore. They might have just picked them all when we're not looking. I don't know. But they're picking these le they're picking the, you know, um the berries or whatever. And their dad was outside watching them. And I was just like, what are they doing? So I went closer and his eyes looked at me. With such an anger, they're just looking at me. They're like, he was just like, that's me. And I was just like, okay, I'm sorry that your daughters are picking 
Boop. I, boop. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that your daughters are picking berries off of my tree. Or not my tree, but my bush. And I did not tell them that they could pick the dang berries off of my bush. And then, once I came closer to them, they started running and giggling. And I can see the berries in their hands. Their, da their dad, they were just looking at me. They ran inside their house. And their dad kept staring at me. If you're watching this video again, why? That was not your berries. You're lucky that I did not fail the police. I, I'm just kidding. That, that would be stupid. But anyways, he wouldn't stop staring at me. So I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go inside my house. I'm not even going to say anything. So I went back inside my house and I looked outside the window and he was gone. Hold on. There's, there's a bump on my foot. What? Anyways, okay, on with the next thing. And now this is another incident. I remember that this one time, I, me and my mom, we came back from Kroger, we bought a few things, and it was like early in the morning, it was in the summer, and it was actually pretty cool for that morning. That summer was actually pretty cool. I'm sorry, it's just a freaking pop on my head. So, I remember he was outside like raking leaves or something, and then I went outside, and he saw us. He literally hid. He literally hid. But he hid really stupidly. Like pretend like he was at his house. Pretend this uh, this water bottle was a wall. He saw us and he went like this. And he was staring at us. And okay, you know, I'm not gonna lie. He was pretty fat, so I could see his belly. That was so mean, okay? I I'm sorry. But he was. I'm sorry. Mm, that that was really rude. That was really rude. But I could see his belly and his face was like it was basically like a baby face, and I could see, like, his cheeks coming out, and he was just like, basically, that's how he looked like, like, literally. My mom, she saw that, too. I literally told my mom, too, and she said, hello. He did not wave back. He did not say anything. He just watched us until we went inside our house. Why? There's just friends on vacations where... Not random occasions, but occasions where, like, they would, oh, well, he would actually always stare at me. Always stare at me because he thought I was a bad kid because of Bianca, Ding Dong Ditching, their doorbell. Them hanging out with Zoda, and then me hanging out with Zoda. Like, what? So, yeah. They still stare at me to this day, like, to be honest. But it's actually gotten better. And, yeah. I hope to see you next. I'm sorry, my pillow. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Oh, gosh. Okay, see you next time on the intro. I feel like I didn't do my intro. I feel like, you know, I didn't do how to say she was singing. But I feel like I did. But if I didn't, then, then, how to say she was singing. <laughs> uh, no, kind of late. But, um, I'll see you next time for the next story time I'm going to tell. I'm actually pretty excited to tell that one because it was actually pretty weird. So, yeah, I'll see you later and get out of my face. Oh, well, <laughs> get out of my face.